Hello, I am in Christ. I have become a new man. My past is gone. My new life in Christ has begun. And the new me is being unveiled through the knowledge of my Creator. This is the new man commission with the mandate of revealing Jesus to the world, demonstrating his love to the people. Welcome. Have you ever considered the gravity of God's word in our lives, how it nourishes and shapes us much like a mother's milk to a newborn? When we embrace Jesus as our Lord and Savior, an extraordinary transformation takes place. We are born anew into God's family, becoming his children. This rebirth is not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. This divine birthright comes from the enduring, imperishable Word of God. Imagine a newborn refusing its mother's milk. It's unthinkable, isn't it? That child would not survive. In the same vein, having been born through God's Word, we must continually nourish ourselves with it or face spiritual starvation. Being part of God's family, birthed by His uncorrupted Word, our growth into spiritual maturity depends on this same Word. It's a thirst we must quench, a craving we must satisfy. Our new existence is eternal, born from the enduring, living Word of God. Much like newborn infants seeking their mother's milk, we too must seek and crave the spiritual nourishment of God's Word. The scriptures tell us to yearn for the milk of the Word, to grow up in our salvation. Without food, a baby cannot grow. Similarly, without the Word of God, we cannot grow in the knowledge and grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we immerse our hearts in the Word of God, we grow from the increase that God provides. It's vital to cultivate a relationship with God through His Word. The Scriptures are God's inspiration, the means through which we mature into our salvation in Christ Jesus. God uses His Word to teach, correct, and equip His people for every good work. As citizens of His kingdom, we must receive His Word with the innocence and trust of a child. We are a new creation, and our new self is created by God in righteousness and true holiness. A born-again Christian mirrors God's likeness in righteousness and purity of truth. To reach maturity in Christ, to grow from newborn babes into fully grown adults, we must continually feed on God's Word. Like the Apostle Paul, our goal should be to know Jesus Christ more through His Word. God's ultimate aim for all who believe in Christ is Christ-likeness, and it should be our goal too. His Word empowers us to live a Christian life daily. We cannot navigate the Christian life independently. Only His Word, through the power of the Holy Spirit, can guide us into becoming the vessels He intends us to be. In summary, being born into God's family through His imperishable Word, our spiritual growth hinges on this same word. It's a craving, a thirst that must be satisfied for us to mature in Christ. Our relationship with God is cultivated through His word, which corrects, teaches, and equips us for every good work. As a new creation in Christ, we strive for Christ-likeness, empowered by His word through the Holy Spirit. So let the word of God be your daily nourishment, your spiritual milk, and watch as you grow into the person He wants you to be. God bless you. Stay blessed. For more of our resources, follow us on our social media handles.